Have you ever noticed that some things are magic? Like friendship? I guess that's the only actual magic, probably. Besides this. Here I am in Resolve 17. This is the studio version. This does not, unfortunately, come with the free version of Resolve. I usually try and just do training on stuff everyone can get, but I definitely wanted to show you this because this might be a major reason to upgrade. So check this out. We have this lady sitting here drinking water and we can use the magic mask to do a rough roto of her so that we can, you know, brighten her up without messing with everything else. Normally what you do is do kind of a rough window like this and then you can track that back and forth and it does a pretty good job. It does a really good job actually. Not a whole lot to be unhappy about. You can do basically anything. This will probably, you know, do the job of brightening her up and that kind of thing. But this magic mask, let me tell you something. Here in our middle palette, right before our blur tab, we have magic mask. Again, this just will not even show up in the free version, but check this out. All we have to do is draw somewhere on her. I'll just draw on her face and look, it selects her and we can track this back and forth and it will select the whole person. Now, because she's drinking the water bottle, it doesn't really select the water bottle, but man, it does a pretty good job of selecting her entire body. There we go. And now that that is tracked, we can refine it with all of these controls over here, which you can play with. One thing that's helpful to notice is that we're under quality, under faster, but if we switch this to better, it will actually do a much better job of staying on the edges. And it's pretty, it's pretty neat. So now that we have her selected, uh, she looks red because I have the overlay on here, which is this button right here, toggle mask overlay. So I'll turn that off so we can see what we're doing. And now we can color correct her separately from the image. So I can boost up the gamma, bring down the lift, maybe saturate a little more, maybe warm her up a little bit. And this is all separate from the rest of the footage. And you can go through and refine it. Let's say I want this to be a little more blurry. I can boost this way up. And that's a pretty good selection in like two minutes. So here's where we were and here's where we are now. Amazing, amazing tool. And I know how things are. So let's take a look at just a face. This is pretty cool. You can just select parts of a person. So let's say we want to just focus on her face. Down here in the palette, you can switch to features and select which feature. So let's do face and just draw a little line somewhere on her face. And boom, selects her face. Track that back and forth. And you know, it does a pretty freaking good job. Pretty good job. You can even select different parts. So let's just switch this to hair and I'll just select her hair and it will automatically select her hair. And we can adjust just her hair, which is super rad. And yeah, sometimes you can see the edges. It's not perfect, but you can mess with the mat and make it really nice. It's just amazing how well this thing works. It blows my mind. And basically you can just build up your selection here based on whatever you want to color correct. And this is really important. You can also select things that you don't want to include. So let's say maybe it's kind of getting on her neck a little bit. I can just draw a little stroke and kind of get rid of it. And it will track those strokes too. It's pretty amazing. And we can do a lot of really detailed work with this thing. Man, it's just unreal. Let's do one more shot just to show you how ridiculous this is. So this is lady walking with a backpack. Think about how long it would take to even do a rough roto on this. Make sure I'm in add selection and there we go. <laughs> I mean, it's stupid. We'll just track that. And because she has a backpack, it doesn't really recognize that she has a backpack. So there are going to be a few little holes here, but man, it does a lot of the work for you. Look, her arms swinging. It just, her hair, it just selects it all. No problem. <laughs> this is on junky mode. This is on faster mode. So if we switch it to better, it makes an even better edge around the edges. Look, it gets her sunglasses and everything here. Nuts, dude, nuts. So let's add a little bit more of her stuff. There we go. Let's track that through. That's the cool thing is if it kind of misses a selection, you can kind of just add it back in if you want to. Pretty nuts. But yeah, once you have everything basically selected, you can do whatever color you'd like to do just in that selection. Nuts, man. So if you haven't opened this up, play around with it. I just don't, I don't get it. It's crazy, but I'll accept it. Videos on DaVinci Resolve 17 right there. That's where you want. Also, if you haven't subscribed, you watched this whole video and you haven't subscribed. Come on, man. Click it. That's how my kids eat. They don't eat subscriptions. Although if you could, they eat food and subscription helps out with a little bit of the money, you know, a little bit, a little bit of, uh, they can buy Snickers bars and juice.